Hello everyone. Welcome to the third episode of the Clockwork Mouse. Well, in the previous episode, you heard how the Clockwork Mouse came across so many animals and how it had been treated by all. In this episode, you will get to know what happened to it next. Well, during the last part of the winter, there were some several gales. and in one of them the ash tree blew down for many more months the clockwork pounce lay patiently among the tangle of fallen branches until one day men came with saws to cut up the tree look said one to another as they work amid the lop and top here a bird's nest still in one piece all sorts of rubbish in two and what's this a mouse a live one did you mean said the other man i thought it was live for a minute said the woodcutter ever so life like it is but no it's a clockwork mouse see here's the keyhole how in the world did it ever get here and he stuffed it in his pocket why in jimmy's house his father had ordered a load of logs and the same woodcutters had to deliver the wood there and as jimmy's father had to go for work jimmy took charge of the logs later when the woodcutter had unloaded the logs jimmy held out the money his father had left with him half a tick said the woodcutter there'll be a bit of change and he put his hand in his pocket and brought out some coins and with them something else Look at this he said and he put the clockwork mouse down on the bed of the pickup truck Jimmy looked where did you find that he said you'll never believe this the woodcutter said but it was in a bird's nest a nest that had been in the top of the ash tree we cut these logs from it's a clockwork mouse see no good to me i haven't got any kids and it's no good to you got any little brothers no said jimmy but leave it with me if you like the woodcutter laughed okay he said you're welcome to it it's no use without key he handed over the toy and drove off jimmy stood holding the clockwork mouse you couldn't be not after all these years could you he said and he thought there's only one way to prove it's my mouse He fetched the little brass key and put it into the hole in the left side. It fitted, but it wouldn't turn. You must be terribly rusty," said Jimmy. And he fetched the oil can he used on his bicycle and squirted some into the keyhole. Now then, he said, "Let's see if there's life in the old mouth yet." And he began to whine. The mechanic was very stiff, but at last, it was fully wound. Then Jimmy set the clockwork mouse on the floor and slowly jerkily it began to move across the carpet. Time had aged it a great deal. Wind and weather had turned its coat a dirty yellow color and the hair on it was patchy. Also one ear was weasel chewed. Its body bore assorted tooth marks and owlet owlet had taken off part of its tail and there was a dent in the top of its head made by the woodpecker. but it came to a halt jimmy picked it up and looked into its beady black eyes i bet you could tell a story he said i wonder what happened to you the clockwork mouse ted back so this was the story of the clockwork mouse so children i hope you all enjoyed it you were with me pragya joseph have a great day thank you everybody